Welcome back to our live coverage of the City of Lawndale Municipal Elections on Channel 22 along with Anita Callet Berry right at Election Central where the ballots are being counted. I'm Lou Stowers. Let's get you caught up on Precinct 7 which the results came in about 10 minutes ago at 10.30. For the City Council, Robert Pullian Miles, 136, is leading uh, the leading candidate for two seats. Jim Osborne in the lead for the other seat with 112 votes. Angie Moeller not far behind with 107. Jack Sims with 42. In the race for mayor, incumbent Harold Hoffman, 151 votes. City Councilman Jim Ramsey, 61. Fred Siegel, community activist with 23. The all-important ballot measure, A, for the community center funding, yes, 173 to 43. So a resounding lead there. And we've just gotten news that precinct number one is reporting. So Anita Calabari in the council chambers, take it away. Back in, inside the city council chamber, we've got more results for you for precinct number one. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have Mr. Ramsey with 72 votes for precinct number one. We have Mr. Harold Hoffman with 216 votes. And we have Mr. Siegel with 33 votes. So Mr. Hoffman is still leading. We'll take a look at the uh, results for council members. Uh, Ms. Moller with 134 votes for precinct number one. Mr. Osborne with 188 votes. Mr. Robert Paul and Miles with 166 votes. And Mr. Sims with 51 votes, all from precinct number one that has just come in. We'll take a look at the measures. We've got 224 votes yes on measure A, and we have 75 votes no on measure A. So these are the results from precinct number one. Once again, Mr. Hoffman is leading by 216 votes. And over here, we've got Mr. Osborne leading by 188 votes. And of course, measure A is leading. So once again, we've got precinct number seven already in. 61 for Mr. Ramsey, 150 for Mr. Hoffman, leading still, and 23 votes for Mr. Siegel, precinct number 7. We'll take a look at the uh, council members again for precinct number 7. We've got 101 votes for Ms. Moller, 112 votes for Mr. Osborne, 136 votes for Mr. Robert Pullen Miles, and 42 votes for Mr. Sims. And once again, Measure A is leading, 172 votes yes on Measure A from precinct number 7, and 43 votes no on measure A from precinct number seven. Uh, I just heard, as we all heard the sound of that lovely machine going again, so that means we're going to be getting more and more results coming from the other precincts. Um, the next precinct that's going to be coming in is... We're not sure yet. I'm going to get that back uh, for you. So just stay tuned. We'll be coming up with, uh, we have just two more precincts, precinct number four and precinct number nine, before we actually know the results. So. This mayoral race is getting very, very exciting. Mr. Harold Hoffman, the incumbent mayor, is still leading in both of the precincts. And hey, it looks as if he might still be leading the other precincts as well. So we'll be back with more results as we get them in. Uh, do you know which precinct is going to be coming in? They're, they're going to let me know in just a few seconds. So it's going to be exciting. Just stay tuned. We'll be right back. Back to you, Lou. Thank you very much, Anita. Great job inside the council chambers as two precincts down, two to go. And the all-important measure A, which is the community center measure to see if there will be $1 million of city money put towards the funding of that new community center, which will be the central for uh, seniors and youth as far as they're getting their services and also some activities there. Should be a nice, nice a community center, Larry Rudolph, uh, telling us a little bit about some of the plans that he would like to see put in there. And uh, so right now it's 396 yes, 118 no for that all-important measure. And right now it appears that uh, Mayor Harold Hoffman is well on his way to a tenth, uh, tenth term of office here as mayor of the city of Lawndale with city council member uh, Jim Ramsey not far behind and Fred Siegel not quite into triple digits yet. For the two city council seats, it appears that Robert Pullen Miles will get a second term, and Jim Osborne is on his way to get the second seat with Angie Moeller and Jack Sims 
uh, far behind. Actually, Jack Sims with 93 votes and Angie Moeller with 235 really needs a big push as the next two precincts will come rolling in. Now, well, let's talk a little bit more about Measure A, some frequently asked questions. What are the community needs in Lawndale? Due to a lack of space, the Lawndale Community Services Department is severely limited in the type of programs offered and the number of people that it can serve. The population of Lawndale is more than 33,000 people, but there is virtually no public indoor or outdoor space available within city or community groups to hold large meetings or special events. That was one of the reasons this measure was created. What can be done to meet the needs? The city of Lawndale would like to upgrade the community services to meet the needs of the residents for years to come. To address those needs, the City Council unanimously placed Measure A on the ballot so you could decide whether or not the community in fact needed that uh, the community center. What is Measure A? Measure A would simply authorize the city to build a new community center in Lawndale. Measure A does not authorize a tax or a fee to fund construction, which is the good news of the community center. The city already has funding available, so no money out of your pocket, which is always good news, especially now. And can the city build a community center? The city law requires a vote of the people to permit the city of Lawndale to spend more than $1 million to construct a new building. Measure A simply authorizes the city to build the proposed community center with no tax increase to fund the construction. That is so, so vitally important that none of your dollars 